Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. Love you guys. Thanks for coming on over to see what I'm doing in my craft room. I'm gonna give you a flip through of my January 2022 glue book. And I wanna show you that in a minute, but first I wanted to share what I got at my local Dollar Tree the other day. Um, I didn't have a lot of time, but hopped on over to the craft area and found these spray, tempera spray paints, uh, little bottles, and I got the basic colors. So I'm gonna try those. Um, yeah, that sounds like a fun thing. Uh, also, these cool stencils, butterflies, they're always nice to have around, and just some patterns and the fun swirly, um, just fun things. It says self-adhesive stencils, so I'm not sure. And these are all called Crafter's Square. And then I also had uh, my, I found these. They're silver and gold uh, writer pens. Uh, this one's a Crafter Square metallic marker. So I have two silvers. I want got the Crafter Square and the Craft Core. Not quite sure which one is gonna be better, so I'll try both of them. It's only a dollar. I'm not gonna go broke trying to find out if you know one of them is better than the other. You know it's no big deal. And a gold one. They didn't have a gold one in the Crafter Square. So yeah, I found a few things at the Dollar Tree the other day. Um, yeah, they had a lot of. A lot of new things and they're expanding um, our Dollar Tree and adding some things that are more than a dollar. So, hmm, we'll see what happens there. Okay, so here is my cute little journal for my art glue book. You know, I, I struggle with the name of these things because they end up being art books or glue books or junk journals depending on how you want to define those terms. So this is all three of those. This is a variety journal, but filled with scraps. Um, I had a bin, I have a bin, I should say. I have more than one, actually. I dumped out a few things already. I cleaned it out of the things that I'm pretty sure not ever gonna use again, and I did throw some things away. This is what's left of the bin I was using to create this book. I also pulled out a few other things, and uh, I've talked about that too, napkins and tissue paper and some other things. And um, my snippets for art journaling, uh, words, and also my word clusters I pulled out to finish it off. This book is just made out of junk mail. It started to be similar to something like this, and I have a whole box of these, and these are going to be what I'm going to work on this year for my glue booking, these books right here. And that's what this was to begin with. So the cover is just candy wrappers and lists and just scrap I had on my table close by. Closure made out of denim, jeans that are holed and ripped up and that, and that cute little corgi just made this out of things that I had in this bin, in my little bin here. All right, let's go on inside. I put in a lot of words, because those are some things too that are fun to get rid of and to put in places. Some pages have color, some have a lot of things, some have a few things, some have meaningful words. Let's pull you down a little bit. That's a little better. You can see, see just a little bit closer. I've got some shadows to deal with right now. Okay, let's see how that works. And you'll see this is in there twice. <laughs> She's a Somerset Studio magazine piece of fun fodder. Okay. Made some tags. This one I put on a video making this thing. And this was tissue paper and napkin on here. So yeah, crinkly tissue paper. No easy tissue. <laughs> right? You know who you are. Just a background of weird things. Just whatever I had that I liked. This was fun paper.
put in another face of my art kind of fun thing. There's one of my word clusters. And this was totally put on crooked, but I was just having fun. I wasn't paying attention to what was straight and what's not. This was a rubbing from the organ that uh, was my grandmother's. Yeah, just lots of little things in here. Pictures from my garden that they're kind of not the right coloring, so they just get to be in, you know, but they're not off. They're not too bad off, so just kind of put them in there. And I extended some of the page edges just because they were short. Because in my in my books that you these books are different sized widths. So it's actually wow look at that's got a seal. So I extended some of the pages just to make it a little more room to work on. Like this one, this has an extension here that and every page has some sort of word word on it or something like that and my my room is really cold right now so I have the heater going that's the hum in the background here's a tag from gift tags from a bag of gift tags so that was kind of fun and then a tea bag and inside the tea bag is a little tag just some pretty littles. One heart. Made for you. And this is fun. Just grab some cardboard and tore it apart. I like how that feels. And then this little bit of textile, texture, touchy, feely kind of a page right there. Some darker colors with pops of red there. Collecting joy. And uh, more, more of my candy wrappers, kind of leftovers. And this was the top of a bag of candy, I think. I don't know where I got that from. But it's gold and it's shimmery, so that makes it fun. The word joy is in here several times. Here's a frame that had been sitting in my stash for a long time, and I added it with some blue color page. This one has blue accents as well, and some pictures and some frames from a sticker pack I had. I haven't used it, so I've kind of collaborated all of that together to make that page. Just some mishmash. There's a little bit of everything in here, which makes it fun. Printed paper. This is actually very thick and fibrous. I want to show you this though. So the background's a napkin and my words are friends, fun, and giggles are essentials. And I have to tell you, have you been watching the blindfolded cluster making videos? So funny. Pam at the Paper Outpost has one. Um, and Helen, Helen um, at Moss Cottage has one. And then another gal who's collaborating with Pam Oh my goodness, telling you that was, that just, I chuckled and there were moments of laughing out loud watching those. So I might try blindfolded cluster making just for kicks and giggles because that's what ends up happening. I get a kick out of it and definitely I giggle. So that's what I love, watching, watching creatives have a good time and get a little crazy nuts and it's like a crazy craft challenge or something like that. So <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> so that's what I put on that. So glowing design. Oh, eye catching, black and white, you know, making things pop here and there. And I made this tag a long time ago, but I just put this on here because I had these scraps, these fibrous little um, scraps from Baker's Twine. And then I turned it over and went, uh-oh, it's upside down. So we have a teaching moment. <laughs> yes, we did. So anyway, I left it. It's whoops, but I left it. Some more napkin, you know, just little pieces. And this was an experiment in making marks and so whatever. But this was a stamp I had, just added some words to that. Another 
stamp on book paper, not stamp, but a, um, a stencil that I made. Anyway, I made this stencil, I copied it from something else and I used my craft knives to do that. But live sincere. Inspire people. Finding real joy. And I used all the stickers from a heart pack the silver metallic. Just cut them all up and put them on. Here's the feel the best. There's a bed sleeping. Got some thing to touch here and you got a hand. So that kind of all went together. Documenting year by year. Added a few dots on here. Nothing special. Beauty and glamorous. Just making a pocket out of cards. Here's one of my fun drawings of faces. Love now, life doesn't come with guarantees. Yeah. You turn it over and it's got a fun artistic picture that I pulled out of a magazine and the word dream. I can sort of see it there. I tried to outline it. They're gold letters outlined in white. And that's kind of hard to see, but that's okay. Kind of dreamlike that way. And making memories. And I'm noticing that this is coming off. I'll have to re... Oh, I'll staple it. I can do that quick enough. Let's move this, though, so I don't staple that. Scooch it over. There. That's going to be a little rough in the storage bin, but that's okay. And, and the closure, you know, I did a... Um, a whatever these punch things are called, eyelet, that's the word. Yeah, and just put some denim in there. So that's my little scrap busting book for this month. I don't know what, if a theme is gonna happen every month on these, but it's fun to just experiment and we'll see what I come up with for next month. But it'll be one of these kind of books, one of these junk journals that are made out of mail. Um, yeah. I've got enough for an entire year and then some. <laughs> so, all right, friends, love you guys. Thanks again for coming on over today, and I hope you're having a really, really good day um, and being healthy. Take care, and as always, friends, God bless. Bye-bye.